What's up, real estate agent playbook fans? Today, I am very excited to bring you a sit down roundtable discussion that I recently had with my business partners, Adam and Louie, as well as Jim Hund, who's a, another member in the Colorado area of Wolfpack Elevation. And we were at EXPCon and everything was about AI and real estate. And we found that we had some pretty good knowledge between us. So we sat down, did a roundtable podcast style uh, discussion and it's fire. Everything about it is amazing. I hope that you guys embrace this AI chase in the real estate game. It's not going to replace us, but it can absolutely replace some of those tedious tasks that you have. And so this is just the iceberg. We'll bring, you know, Adam and Louie and Jim on individually. But I thought that this sit down was so valuable that I wanted to bring it to you as this week's episode, both on YouTube and the podcast. As you know, Real Estate Agent Playbook, please like, comment, subscribe. If you like what you hear, definitely seek out these guys, follow them. They're information will be below in the description but i just wanted to bring you this powerful 25 minute discussion on ai and where we think it's going how we're using it and you know all the things we learned in vegas the the podcast was actually filmed in a hotel room in vegas we had one mic uh, but we dove in and i can't wait to share this with you so check it out as always, follow me where you need to reach out. If you have questions, you want me to directly uh, answer them or connect you with one of the guys, I'd be happy to. But without further ado, let's get into it. What's up, everyone? Uh, Louis Gall here. We are in Vegas. Uh, we've been here forever, it feels like. It's time to go home. <laughs> to go home. Uh, we're with the Denver boys here, the crew. We got Jimmy Hund. We got um, Jer Jeremy Kane. Sorry, buddy. I've been here so long. I almost forgot your name. I love you. <laughs> and we got Adam Gillespie as well. Uh, uh, we've been at ESPCon all week for 2023. And the main topic that everyone was kind of chatting about was AI, right? It's everywhere right now. It's the buzzword of the industry. And, you know, I, I just kind of want to have this conversation because we all use it in our business. Uh, and the stuff we covered this week was awesome, but I think there's a lot more that we can unravel. Um, and the conversations we've been having privately, I feel like need to be shared and people need to start knowing about like how to really use artificial intelligence in their business. And maybe also realize how it differentiates from like automation of things like systems and stuff. It can be used, but it's a separate entity. So Adam, you're the kind of, Whenever I have an AI question, I go to, I go to you, so I'm going to kick off for you. So uh, what do you get from the week or, you know, what are your kind of thoughts overall with AI? What do agents starting out with it need to use? Let's hear it. Yeah, man, um, it was really exciting. Actually, the panels were full of just so much AI. You can almost get an analysis paralysis off of it, um, but very exciting. I think one thing's crystal clear is that it isn't going anywhere. And those of us that don't adapt, you know, it's probably going to be a mistake. Um, so it was very exciting to see how many people in the industry, or well, at least in our industry, that are open to adapting with that. Um, so that makes me very excited because we have such an awesome value option at our group where where we've dove, dove so deep inside AI that it's just light years ahead of what a lot of the other people are doing. And I think that, you know, we can teach people how to program their bot to, you know, duplicate their speech program, uh, their speech patterns and make sure that their content is coming out more like them, help personalize their email drips. And that's really just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, it, like getting down to where you are with the systems and stuff and, you know, turning it to the auto chat bots and just all of the craziness. It's, it's one of those things where, you know, I could just blabble on all day about it because there's so much stuff. But I think the biggest thing that we should focus on is just taking it one step at a time and programming that bot to speak like you, I think is the first and foremost, most important thing that anybody could do. Um, and learning how to prompt that bot is, you know, something that not a lot of people get yet. And it's surprisingly simple because we just don't understand that like this is literally the smartest thing that we've ever had uh, access to as human beings and if you just kind of think of it that way like you you know you like ask Jeeves kind of situation and you just start playing with it you'll be surprised what comes out the other end JK, what are you using it for? yeah absolutely uh i use it definitely i'm one of those guys that throws it down and you know gets a couple scripts down and goes from there and i don't i don't ask it a lot of questions i don't reprompt so sitting in these <laughs> sessions i I realized that I probably should be going a little bit deeper. It works great for what I use it for, but when you hear hear guys like Adam 
really rap out about it all week, you're like, okay, well, underutilizing that for sure. And it's, it's a process, right? And it's, it's interesting because in my business, I went to some VA stuff recently and, you know, kind of outsourcing and things like that. And so when you do that, you just outsource it and be done with it and kind of take your hands off of it. In fact, there were a speaker or two that were, <clears throat> you know, in that realm and to see and hear all of the different things that their VAs are doing because they had the utilization of time, you know, and they, they would send them to trainings and things like that. Whereas, you know, at, at most agent levels, especially at this stage of the game, if they are spending a little bit of time on it, I think, you know, it could go a long way. Uh, Mike on stage was like, it should be a part of your calendar to, you know, get on open AI and jam out for 15 to 30 minutes and, and just really use it because, you know, if you're starting with a listing description, right? Like that's, that's nothing, right? That's hardly leveraging your time by the time you prompt and reprompt and do the thing. So I think there's just so much more to be had and you could really tell that some people have embraced it. Some people are in the infancy stage and some people are a little further advanced. And so, you know, that's, that's my thing as a competitor to always use the tools to, to the fullest. So Jimmy. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Like I, they were talking about AI and stuff. And what I would kind of add to that is the first thing I would download otter.ai. I did not take a single note all day, but I have, I'm going to take otter.ai, which has all the transcri transcriptions for uh, the whole progress. I'm going to take those, um, that text, I'm going to throw in a chat GPT, I'm going to tell them, write me some notes, I'm going to save that in a Google Docs, and now I've got things I can um, leverage my time quicker, um, rather than like, you know, reading my chicken scratches and everything else. So I got really bad handwriting. So that helps a lot. I use like chat GPT more than I use email. Uh, any email uh, is all ran through chat GPT first. And then I'm saying it out because, you know, I just want to get my um, thoughts down. And so that, that, that'd be a first thing. So, you know, that's, that's huge because there's sometimes like my, Oh shoot, what was that? And so now I'm able to like have like a nice clean. So like, you know, I'm, uh, you know, fairly organized, but as far as like writing notes and stuff, it just like goes in a notebook and I, I don't have it anymore. So, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so I'm, uh, to look back on this and uh, get all those notes. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very much, excited for it and yes it, it can be kind of scary i know a lot of people are kind of worried uh but like look at like 12 months ago how many ai, pro AI products were we using not many at all but now like you know we've got um tons so uh another one that i really like using is futuretools.ai um so yeah, like i I think over 2000 different AIs. So, you know, if you want to, like, Hey, what's chat or I need something, an image generator. So I go on there and if I want a free one or a paid one, check those out. So that's been huge. Like video.ai is just like, it's just helped maximize our time so much. And if people are kind of doing things the same way that they were even doing last year or the year before, well, you're going to get beat by the rest of us who are utilizing all the AIs. And so like, you know, it's, it's crazy because how quickly things are, you know, um, adapting and moving forward. Uh, you know, it's, it, it, it can be like overwhelming, but you know, you just got to start and because I mean, you, you got to know it, like it's, it's a, it's the next big thing. So. Yeah. Cool. We have one microphone by the way. So we're just passing around like an Olympic torch. Um, that's, that was surprising to me. I don't know if you guys felt this or not. Like I, in one session I was sitting there and the person on stage was talking about um, ChatGPT, right? And it's like, I feel like ChatGPT is like saying Facebook now, like everyone knows what it is automatically. And she was like, what is it? What's he talking about? I was like, oh, just, just ChatGPT. And she goes, what's that? And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Are you serious? Uh, so it's like, you know, I feel like I sometimes don't really know if we're, because we have these discussions like, every week, you know, we're in our group, we're, we're talking about this stuff. And it's like, I can never tell if we're like slightly ahead of the kind of curve or just in line with it or where we are. But like, I was finding that I felt like a lot of the, some of the conversations and some of the people I was talking to were pretty far behind, you know, um, to the point where I was like, oh, wow. Like, like what, how are you operating your business right now? Because like I use AI specifically chat GPT, like, in 
I would say probably like 50% of my business right now, like in the operations and the systems and everything that I'm doing. Um, and I'm just like, I, I just couldn't really fathom that people weren't grasping it. I, I don't know, it was probably the small majority of the room, but there is people out there that, that, um, that don't know about it. So I guess the next question I would probably ask you guys is like, if someone is starting, if someone is just like, listen, I don't even know what AI does or what it is. They're just thinking about like iRobot with Will Smith. You know what I mean? Like without being scared of it, without, you know, not knowing how to utilize it or what to do with it. Like where should they be starting in this? Like, you know, like listing descriptions, obviously stuff like that. But like, like if you had a brand new realtor who wasn't aware of AI, didn't know what they were doing, like what would you tell them to do? Um, yeah, first and foremost, I mean, I'd start with ChatGPT. I mean, hands down, there's tons of different AI bots out there, but that's the most proficient one. Um, and I think just prompting it, learning and sitting with it. Um, my, 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 yeah, the best advice I could say is just spend a day with it and mess with it. Ask it questions, have it ask you questions. You know, the more information that you can feed the bot about you and where you come from and what your business is about and where you want to take your business to, then the more that that bot's going to know how to channel that content through to give you, you know, a better product that, you know, you can get much quicker, save Good tons example. of time. Okay. So like, for instance, you know, when it comes to like blog content, right? Like most realtors who have been in the game for six months or more know about keeping current matters, right? They'll give you a blog daily with their membership, right? That blog is very, it's obviously AI written, right? So we have to start being more cautious about the AI detection that Google and other platforms are going to start putting in force. So when we're just posting the same blog content that 90,000 other agents just got in the mail that same day and they're posting on theirs, the SEO is not going to like that very much. So if we can prompt the bot to learn how to speak like us, then we can feed it that data and rewrite a blog in a matter of seconds that comes out and it sounds like it was written by you and it's humanized. And the chances of it being detected by any AI detection drop way down. People know it's genuinely coming from you and I, it's just overall increases everything. It's just more original, you know? It's it's not biting off of the, the, the last latest technology that came, well, I guess it kind of is, right? We're, <laughs> we're biting off the last technology, but we're creating more original content. You know, and it doesn't have to take us hours to sit down and try to write a script out. So, get a blog, start, get ChatGPT, start talking to it. What would you start saying to it, asking the questions? Um, I would first off just ask, I, I would say, what series of questions would you want to ask me to try to get a better concept of how I speak? Mm. And then I would start with answering that. And then once you can answer those in great detail and feed it to the bot, then it'll kind of get a rough idea of where you're coming from. And then the, the best move that I've had with my bot so far is when I decided to go from my desktop to my phone. And I'm lazy with my phone, I suck at texting. So I just voice text everything. So one day I was sitting there and I was like, oh, well, why don't I just text into the bot and say, hey, chat GPT, from now on, I'm going to speak to you through my voice to text on my phone. I would like you to acknowledge the inputted text that's coming in and recognize that as my speech patterns and use it as output on future videos or future scripts. <laughs> and now, every time you talk to your bot, it's learning more and more and more about your speech patterns and your scripts and your content just gets lethally effective. And it's really hard if any, I, like anybody can't pick my blogs apart right now and tell me that they're AI generated unless, you know, they're in our group and they know what we're doing. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Start with chat GPT, just start talking with it. Um, you know, I, you were talking about spend a day with it. So, you know, my wife makes fun of me that like, it's my girlfriend, uh, because you know, I, I, I yeah, I really, I really do. I like, I talk with it like, I, and so I, I, uh, you're saying romantic vlogs. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, you know, a little candle at dinner, like, you know, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Sweet nothings. And so yeah, talk, talk, talk sweet to me, yeah, GBT. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, yeah. If you guys, um, I love what you're saying about, you know, getting to, uh, speak like you and stuff. And so now if with the premium play on chat GPT, you can, uh, add in, um, you know, uh, how you speak and you know what about you and stuff so you don't have to keep on redoing that which is huge that just helps so much and uh and also that um we were talking about i've got a prompt for the second box in there um which uh has made the chat gpt 
uh, just so much better. Um, and so if you guys want that, you know, reach out to me um, and I, I will send you that, no problem. Um, and then the other thing would be to just ask it questions. Like, don't be worried, like, oh, getting the right prompt. And I love what you said, like, hey, are the, ask me questions so you can give me the best result. And then so it'll walk you through it. Um, so I would say that's probably the number one thing is just like, Hey, ask me questions and it, it will walk you through it. So yeah, no, hundred percent. I'm been... realistically, how could you expect it to create content for it if it doesn't know anything about you? Uh, yeah. And then, but the other thing is you're going to start on it. And then I mean, if you guys are, if they're like, like us, then you're going to go down the rabbit hole of AI. And here we are <laughs> sitting in a hotel room talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, you know, obviously taking that time, dedicating to it, putting it in your calendar. But another thing that, you know, while I was sitting here listening is as real estate agents, as any profession, you're seasoned to have a tool to have a fix. And if you don't get to that fix or you're just okay with what it comes out, shoots out the first time, then you're not utilizing the tool to its fullest extent. And so, you know, obviously expo halls and things like that. I, I actually made it out at EXP con without making a ridiculous investment <laughs> and uh, a tool. So if we still got a couple hours, but I think we'll be okay. Um, and I think that that's just something that I've realized. It's not just like a, a tool to get a quick solution and be done. I think eventually it can run in the background and, and do things that will be incredible for your time management. But the time spent up front is definitely learning how to use the tool. Yeah, it's more of a business you need to do, You need to do like a hunter safety class for chat GPT. <laughs> 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 it's going to be too powerful. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I guess that's that's it for me. It's I think a lot of people are like, chat GPT, like chat GPT, and they want to download it and get it and stuff. And then they don't really know what to do with it. And it's like, it's only useful if, if it's a solution for a problem, you know? And I think that's like what I've found and maybe we can kind of, kind of wrap with this, maybe like, what's the one like super ninja thing that you use it for that could, you know, be, be used for all realtors that I'll kind of start with mine and I kind of stole mine from Jimmy. So hopefully you have another one up your sleeve. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you go first because this is my one. I made this up. No, uh, but um, so, for, <laughs> so for me, like you, you introduced me to otter.ai. Uh, is that what it is? Otter.ai? Yeah. So if you don't know what that is, it's uh, it's um, uh, uh, you put it down that records the audio. It's transcriber, right? Transcriber, right? So it transcribes it, gives you summaries and all that kind of stuff. So what I started doing for my YouTube channel you know, I follow a lot of time management people, productivity people from all, all different industries. And I watch a lot of their content all the time to take notes, to see what things are coming out, to do all this stuff and to repurpose that for my own content pertaining to realtors. So, but it's a lot of time that I have to spend on it, you know, but now what I can do is actually like, I'll search for something like, say it's just like time management, best time management practices for productivity. And I'll find, like five videos and I'll put them all in a playlist. So they run after each other and I'll, I'll press play on the first video in the, in the playlist. I'll put my microphone up to my speaker and it will record the transcript from all five videos at once. And then I'll take the transcript, put them all into chat GPT and be like, Hey, summarize the points that are coming up most or give me like the, the most talked about points or, or just any patterns that you see from all five of these. And it will start spitting them out. And then I'll be like, okay, well, listen, let's expand on these. Give me some bullet points. And all of a sudden I've got like a script for a, a killer video that's come, you know, and it's like, okay, well then I just start to pick that apart for real estate and start to use it in our language and in our industry. So it's like, you know, it's just, it just takes like hours in, you know, out of my day. Like I don't have to do that anymore. So I trust the people that it's coming from. It's like, you know, di different people I follow. So now, I can just walk up to my uh, at my office like uh, like an hour later after having my lunch and this transcript is there then I take it from there you know so it's it's really powerful for me for that for content um, not having to consume so much of it but still be able to take the relevant pieces and then and then make it my own so you know for me and like the coaching side of the thing like that's where I really find a, a ton of value and I I love that trick for sure so 
what's your what's your little hack you got going on? I know you've got a lot of them. Just <laughs> just one. Uh, yeah, so I'll try to keep it to just one. But no, I think the <laughs> the biggest ninja uh, trick that I have on it right now is um, we're lucky to be in a market with some really high level people when it comes to stats and data. Uh, and being lucky enough to get access to that on a weekly basis, um, I'm able to take the summary from that. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the data from the last week's stats of our current market, and I will put that into ChatGPT and have ChatGPT create a script for me to do a weekly market update. Um, and the ninja trick to that is once you get it to spit that script out, I call it refeeding the script. So you get the first initial version of the script and it's like your rough draft, so I refeed it. And then I asked the robot to do something else and we can start stacking new tasks on top of these. And you could initially do it in the prompting out the gate, but I found that the robot gets a little bit more confused and starts to leave stuff out, right? So um, for example, what I'll do is I'll put that summary in there. It'll spit my script out and then I'll say, okay, great. Now rewrite that using advanced NLP techniques. So then it'll rewrite it, uh, neuro-linguistic programming. So, okay, so we'll, we'll use a little neuro-linguistic programming just to try to help people relate a little bit better. So the goal behind that isn't to trick anybody, but it's, it's, to, it's to bring people in, is to help people visualize what you can actually accomplish with this and, 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 and with the content that you're trying to get out. So it just helps people understand it a little bit more. Um, so yeah, just refeeding that script and continuing to give it different instructions to just to keep, you know, progressing that script on to where it's even more and more unique. Love it. <clears throat> oh, uh, well, I guess I'll go to my third choice of it. Uh, <laughs> uh, so when I, uh, when I first started using ChatGPT and I was trying to like nail down, like, you know, making it sound like me was, uh, you know, there's a learning curve like you just have to do it at an experience and you know try and always learn more and more so what i found is so i'll take my uh some of my older youtube videos and i will you know use a chat gpt plugin um, that you can get like in chrome extension and it'll automatically transcribe it um Hey, that's a recurring theme for transcription. <laughs> I hate writing. So, uh, <laughs> so I think a lot of mine are, are that, uh, that way. So I'll take that transcription and I'll just throw it in a chat GPT. I'm like, Hey, what is my speaking style? Because I have no idea. I don't know how to describe my speaking style. I just talk and yeah, sometimes too much. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then that's like asking, and then apparently I'm direct assertive and I have a dark sense of humor. And ChatGPT told me that I'm like, oh, that that uh, that's correct. So now now I was able to put that in uh, to the customized prompts and stuff. So now it's just working so much better and just like it's fire. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, scripting, descriptions, copyright stuff, which is kind of the the surface level. But I think the coolest thing I've probably done with it was create like an entire brand and a, a new company around you know all the way down <clears throat> to getting ideas for the logo um and then plugging that into a, a different one which i don't know the answer to what it's called so uh dm me and i'll figure it out i guess um but uh yeah we have an entire logo uh, an entire you know brand name that's grown you know based on the feedings in the chat gpt and then we've continued to evolve and create a webinar framework. And that's, you know, the one thing that needs to be when you're in copy, especially in a litigious society as <laughs> real estate, make sure you're reading what, what it does put out and yes. you can't just automatically copy it over. Um, <laughs> I mean, I've done that a few times, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's okay. It's, it's turned out okay so far, yeah. but that was, I mean, that was just developing an entire brand and entire business model you know, and it was basic at first and you continue to talk about your target audience and the frameworks that came from that were, were pretty impressive. So I'm excited for, for how that. much did you pay for that? Uh, zero. Well, I might've paid five bucks for the logo. Yeah. And, 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 and it gave me like, it gave me like 10 of them in print level high, you know, high quality graphics. So, so, so and, yeah. So, so there's no excuse to not have a business plan anymore. That's what you're saying. Right. Well, and just, I mean, that's, <laughs> it's really good for me to have that creative, mindset where you can you know talk just get ideas right yeah. sometimes like when you're creating 80 videos a month or whatever like coming up with ideas that are in flow and are continuous you know not just like restarting the circle because yeah. when i was like writing it i'm sure it was hope you just said that in a different dialect <laughs> so <laughs> you know so i think that that's that's what i've i've really taken from it that yeah. 
model is pretty cool. Love it. I, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think kind of wrapping up, I think that's the biggest thing about it, right? Is that you can use it to fill the holes in your business, you know, or, or in what you do. Um, and, you know, you have to be kind of ruthlessly honest, as I can always say, about where you're at in your business, like what are the holes in my game. So if it's structure, you can get it to help you with structure of like tasks and, and, and days and like scripts and frameworks and stuff like that. If it's creative things that you struggle with, you can help it to be creative. Like it, it's artificial intelligence, like ChatGPT especially, is like an assistant. It is like having an actual assistant. So just finding the holes that you're always struggling with, plug it in and just start pushing that onto the, the intelligence. And it, I mean, it's wild. I mean, you've got how many humans inputting into the system you know, since 2020, you know, from whenever it started to 2022, was it? Yeah, January you know, 22. So like all that information in there, think about how many people have used it and how many different industries and how many different creations and how many different things, it's all there. You just need to ask it the questions to give you what you need. So I think it's pretty, pretty uh, important that people get on this, especially realtors, just start jamming out on this stuff. So uh, I know we all kind of talk about it, but um, where, can they, where can people find you yeah, Adam, Instagram, YouTube, where you at? Yeah, I'm all over Instagram, Utah, uh, Utah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tom. Uh, <laughs> yeah, leave that in. No, uh, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, uh, everything. Or you can just Google, uh, not Google, but just search Adam G303. It'll take you everywhere you need to know. So I tried to keep it simple. Adam G303. Adam G303. JK? Yeah, uh, the RE Agent Playbook on Instagram, Jeremy Kane on Facebook, uh, YouTube as well, the RE Agent Playbook. Uh, James Hund underscore real estate on my Instagram. And I have a dedicated channel that is focused on a lot of AI and stuff. So I'm, you know, sharing everything that I learn on that channel. So Elevated Realtors, um, you can subscribe there. And also, exciting news. Uh, me and Adam are hosting uh, Agent Power Hour at 10 a.m. on Fridays, which all real estate agents are invited to, no cost. And, you know, we mastermind and that's kind of a setup a lot like this just on Zoom. So, um, you know, uh, find me on Instagram and uh, uh, send me a DM and I'll send you that info. Dope. Yeah. And you can find me at Louis Gall on YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff. 10 a.m. Mountain Time. Yeah. Mountain Time. And we'll put the link in the video description wherever this ends up going out. Um, cool. Gentlemen, appreciate you guys. Yeah. yeah this That's is great. awesome. Let's, Let's keep on pushing. Home. Let's go. Home. <laughs> Let's go home. Let's go home. All right. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Such a powerful episode here talking all things AI. I would love for you to reach out and comment below and let me know how you are using AI in your business. If you have any questions on what we talked about in the episode, please reach out. But if not, we'll catch you on the next one and we'll talk to you soon.